No touching. <sighs> Beastie boys on vinyl. <laughs> Even on Earth, these were hard to come by. How you know about that? A long story. You a collector? Someone gotta be. Everyone else is all too ready to forget. How did, uh... All this get here? Well, when we left Earth, all we all got was one box of our things. Now people got no interest all the junk we brought. But not me. This... This is our history. Of all we was... Of all we lost... My little... Museum of Earth. Always looking for donations. Oh my... <gasps> it still has ink? How? Like I said, long story. Thank you. Without memories of the past, the future means so little. If you come across anything else from old Earth, there's a home for it here. Hmm. I remember these. Used to be we thought we was keeping these forever. Generations to come could look at one of these, see our movies, our stories, how we lived and loved. Now, it all may as well never have existed. The Apollo 11. I remember watching old footage of that man walking the moon. They'd play it on repeat in the recruitment center when I was being evaluated for the Flores. Supposed to inspire us or something? Well, can't deny that victory, though, landing on a rock in space the first time. No one can deny the victory of sailing through deep space to this rock, either. But I'm afraid if you live long enough, every victory turns out a defeat. Well, well, a wristwatch. S.M. Flores Limited Edition. This one was given to civilians to track their hibernations, so they could know how old they really were. You might think this watch has stopped working, but it's exactly right. All time has come to a standstill in this valley. Just a question of counting down to our extinction. Amazing. I'm surprised this survived the fires. So many people around here have forgotten how to read. Nowadays, all they see is kindling. Well, it ain't like my eyes can read either. You know, it was books like this that convinced me I was made for another planet altogether. And here I am. Funny how that worked out. Hmm. Is this soil from Earth? Whoever brought this had a hard time letting go. This might be the only real piece of home we have left now. Boarding the Flores wasn't a guarantee of survival, you know. After what happened to the caravel, some decided to stay on Earth and not chase some dream of interstellar colonization. Maybe they had the last laugh. At least they didn't have to waste all that time on hope. Well, huh. They sure look happy, don't they? But maybe they remind you of people you don't want to think about anymore. That's the one thing everybody on Enoch's got in common. 
We've all got people it hurts too much to remember. Oh well, one day soon, there won't be anyone left to remember. Least then, it won't hurt no more. Won't that be nice? Marvelous! Someone went to the effort of bringing this all the way from Earth. Can't blame them, I loved this stuff. Couple of cans of this nectar a day, that's the secret to a long life, you know. <laughs> well, can't say why you'd want a long life anymore. <laughs> they kept on calling these things phones long after people had pretty much stopped using them to talk to anybody. Folks today ain't never gonna know the joy of swiping and swiping to escape their horrible lives a minute. Or maybe just escaping having to talk to other people about their own horrible lives. Seems funny now, the things we thought important. I remember spending hours in front of my mirror just to convince people I was worth their time. Maybe it's just as well we're done with all that now. We are an ugly lot of creatures and no amount of makeup will hide that. Well, well. I remember these. Must have been a treasure in a box of goodies, saved from Earth by some spoiled little kid who probably didn't last a year on this rock. Can you imagine we once had a world where war could just be a game for kids and their dolls? <laughs> 